I'm uh, Sarah Sark. I'm from Lennox Island First Nation, and I am currently the CEO for Connect 12 Community Health. I think there are many, many barriers for Indigenous people, people of diverse genders in access and service. And so our role is to mitigate that, to eliminate it if we can, and to make sure that we're educating ourselves and the community on that. Because we know that there are so many barriers and it's so much more amplified for Indigenous people. So I think we have responsibility to do that. And we need to partner together to do that. You can't do it alone. And it's a multi-level complex issue, right? Because we're talking about systems. So we're all working within a system as well. And so there's different levels that need to be changed, policy, legislation, as well as how we provide the service. On the ground floor level at the front line, we can be relationship-based, we can be client-centered, we can be needs-based, we can do our best to be led by the client, by the Indigenous person. But if our systems are creating barriers, it's, it's challenging. So we need to do a lot of work on cultural competency, education, acceptance. We need to constantly be checking our bias all the time because it is, it is unique, it creates an inequity. So you see an inequity, we see inequities in transportation, in access, the length of time for our children to get a diagnosis is, you know, double what it is for a non-Indigenous child to get a diagnosis of autism, for example. And there's many factors that go into that, but a lot of it is cultural bias, you know? So if you come to a doctor, you say, I think my child has autism, or there's something going on, I don't know. There's often an assumption still that it's a parenting issue. Oh, maybe, maybe they had FAS or, you know, so they jump to sort of conclusions based on their bias, um, whether conscious or unconscious. So I think there's a lot of work we need to do there. We just have to keep on with the education and asking the questions. You know, and someone, I was at a panel recently and someone said, what can we do? What can we do? Well, if you're in a committee work and you're starting to talk about Indigenous issues or gender issues, ask, where's the Indigenous people? Like, where are they? Why aren't they here? Right? So I think the more people we can make aware, the better we'll get down the road.